got the two captains and the two umpires here. Uh, uh, maybe you can tell your name. Uh. Yeah, hi. Uh, my name is Tejas. My name is Sunny. Uh, Mahesh Joshi from uh, Leopards. Ali from Knight. Thanks, guys. So you're all ready to go up on the trash? Yep. Tails. These tails. Uh, we'll ball first. Ball first, yeah. Leopards, Mahesh, can you tell us a bit about your road to the finals? Uh, it's been actually a tough one. We didn't start actually very well, uh, but the boys actually fought hard and, you know, uh, we won the last four games, so that's the reason we actually here. Uh, so congratulations and, you know, good work, boys, because uh, of your effort to win here. So thank you. Are you looking forward to the grand final? Uh, yes, we are. Uh, again, we played against Knight before. Uh, again, they are a very competitive side, uh, and I hope you know the better teams are uh, the best team is today. So, yeah. Fantastic. Ali, can I ask you about your road to the finals? How did you guys get here? Was it a rough road or easy? Uh, well, it was rough at the beginning, and it got easier later on because um, we haven't been playing cricket for a while, and we got the boys together and we started cricket. This is, this is, our, this is our first tournament after quite a while. So, yeah. Got the umpires with me for today's game, Sunny and Tate. Um, so guys, can you tell us a bit about this competition? Is it a fairly uh, high, high level of cricket that we've seen this spot? Yeah, uh, we're running this competition since uh, February this year and uh, we've got eight teams. They're pretty good teams. Uh, basically, most of them, they are from Indian origin and they have played a very nice cricket. What I've noticed that they are equal to some time, uh, equal to grade four or five of New South Wales. And some players, we had one player who was used to play under 19 for Pakistan team. So we had a like very competitive tournament this year and uh, they, did, they played within the spirit. We never had any problems. Uh, it's uh, fantastic and we're going to carry on next year too from September. That's wonderful. So do you guys play the standard international rules? Is there any modified rules with power plays and things like that? Most of the rules are uh, according to the international rules. Uh, there are a couple of rules that are modified uh, or because of the playing conditions. And as Sunny said, uh, most of the players, are, uh, they know the rules and they, they, there's a very competitive spirit uh, in all the teams and the spirit of the cricket is, is really been good. Um, and I think it's, it's quite a good success. Sure. So what are those modified rules that we can see? Uh, so what we've done is, uh, so in, in terms of power play, instead of 20-20, we instead of 25 uh, over, over a side and then we've had uh, a couple of power play rules. Uh, there's a floating power play of five overs which a batting side can select. At their so India Sports Club uh, was uh, specifically formed to give an opportunity to Indian international students who come here. Basically because uh, these students come here in their prime time of playing time. Uh, that's uh, in the age group of somewhere between 19 and 30, which is uh, actually their uh, prime playing period. And uh, it's not easy to get into some of the great cricket here and uh, immediately after they come. So we thought that uh, we will give India Sports Club will give them an opportunity to come and play on, um, uh, you know, the park cricket here. Uh, we play limited over cricket uh, because of uh, the time constraints and things like that. And then, of course, they can then graduate on to uh, something bigger. In the third year, we became part of Cricket New South Wales. In fact, uh, the then CEO David Gilbert and the chairman uh, Harry Harinath, I should thank both of them for getting India Sports Club into uh, District Cricket Association. So we are the 31st member of. New South Wales District Cricket Association and affiliated to Cricket New South Wales. That's fantastic. I think uh, organisation is something that players love to see. Having played in cricket competitions myself, uh, if you play in a competition where it's not so organised, you know, you don't have good umpires, you don't have the right cricket balls, right grounds, it doesn't really want to make you play the game. But if the competition is really well organised, it automatically motivates you to play in that comp. And I think you've put a lot of emphasis on that, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you should uh, be able to play the game in the right spirit. And that can happen only when you have got qualified umpires and who know the rules. And also, uh, you know, a beautiful ground like this, uh, thanks to Parameter uh, City Council who have been helping us with all these grounds in the past uh, 10 years. Uh, so it gives uh, uh, an incentive for young players to come and participate and play. Yes, you are just in the end. Lost again, the last over. But it happens. It's cricket. Someone yeah. has to win. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks for your uh, spirit, the way you played this whole tournament. You know. And I must say that I will see you again in September. And Raj is our president of ISA, and he must be proud today that how the game's gone. And maybe next time we can organize better. I want your suggestions.
you know, I want your advice so that we can do it yeah. together. You know, I'm not alone, we're all together in this. Okay? Yeah, uh, I, I just want to say that uh, I myself played a little bit of cricket when I was younger and then I saw the standard of the game, it's pretty good. Um, I think, uh, I don't know whether you know that uh, India Sports Club has put three players into under 19 years or 12. Um, uh, you may know one of them, Jay Puriya, who played for us, who played for QTS Balmain afterwards. Uh, uh, Manjot, who opened the innings for uh, under 19 years or 12, who played first for India Sports Club. So, uh, we take pride in some of those people who have made it to the top. And maybe there is one, somebody, Usman Khawaja, coming out of this uh, India Sports Club, you never know. So, um, all I'm saying is that, uh, uh, you played with such great spirit, that's the main thing. Uh, in terms of uh, the priorities, I would say sportsmanship, number one, camaraderie, number two, then winning in, in my books. And you have demonstrated that very well today. So thank you very much wow. for your support. Okay, boys. Uh, I'll announce the runner up first. Uh, Knights, the catch. And Suleiman took the first catch or second catch of the day. I thought, oh my God, he nailed it. <laughs> and uh, it was fantastic catch. You done really proud. And but you're the runner up for the tournament. There you go, Ali. Okay. Nothing else to say. <laughs> Champions! <laughs> Ali, uh, bad luck this time around. Um, well, what uh, if I ask you to put a finger on a couple of things which uh, resulted in, a, you know, just a touch and go failure? What would that be? Uh, nothing much. It's just um, I think um, we didn't have much of luck in there. So that's all it. Maybe next time. Hopefully next time. We'll see them in the finals again, hopefully. Mahesh, uh, a proud man. Um, I'm sure uh, if I ask you to uh, put a finger on a couple of things which uh, made this success for you, what would you say? Uh, again, it's not a particular thing. I would say it's the whole team. Mm -hmm. Again, batting, bowling, uh, we exceptionally, you know, we played actually exceptionally well. So credit actually goes to all the, to the you know, all the players who actually, you know, put in so much effort uh, week in, week out. Uh, that's the reason, boys. This is for you. So, you know, thank you.